Okay, apparently that was also a quick save button, but I don't really want to maybe watch it now or later. I'm watching Helion as well. Me, Helion, along with. Welcome back to the Curse of Monkey Island, and oddly enough, we both enjoyed this game so much last time. We thought we were all, we are we were already on our third episode with this, but no, <laughs> it's only the second stream of this. Uh, yeah, hmm. now I see in here. I think like it's probably correct. Hmm. Uh, okay, uh, just one slight change because I hit the program I'm using to keep an eye on chats then forgot to unhide it so there we go anyways last time Guybrush was well Guybrush and got Elaine cursed to be turned into a gold statue and again Guybrush being Guybrush he forgot to hide her away so uh, golden Elaine got stolen away and now we need to find a crew to chase after her and her kidnappers so technically, yeah. since she's now technically, since, since she counts as a, an object, it would more like be like a theft instead of a kidnapping. <laughs> oh come on, Helian, don't go there. Uh, no, it's it's the game that literally objectified her this time. Uh. <laughs> That's a horrible pun. Uh. And also, don't forget, he acts idiotic. Also said that out loud to these three. That she turned into a gold statue. Also, oh, I did confirm. Um, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I think you were about to say what I was to say. Go on. <laughs> yeah, this guy is voiced by Scrooge McFricking Duck. <laughs> May he rest in peace. Uh, yeah. All right. I have the strategy guide open on the other screen. I'll have to scroll back down to where we were, but I believe we do want to get our hands on those scissors eventually. For now, though, uh, oh, that's the inventory. Let's have a look. There's a plaque on this portrait. It says, Rachel Squall. This lady we're certain was no debutante. She killed 20 men while she wore this buffant. <laughs> Are we going to have the, the gravestone thing now, but with portraits of people who got their hair cut? Edward Screech. Dear. When it came to rum, Edward Screech never skimped. He drank a whole bottle while he had his hair crimped. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> Thomas Lude. Here was a dangerous man when accosted, but he looked pretty good when his hair had been frosted. <laughs> what? Captain Steed Grummet. He fought and he struggled. He kicked and he brawled. But when he left our shop, we made sure he was bald. <laughs> I knew that it was going there. <laughs> Okay. Jack Rackaham. Always a dapper crook. Jack wore the layered look. Jack I Rackaham. I, I recognize that name, I think. I get I think that was a real pirate? I'm not entirely sure. Maybe? But also, what's the parrot there? Uh parrot uh, oh there, that let's see. In loving memory. Crackers. <laughs> 1684 to 1685. Okay. Aww. I'm short. Another satisfied customer. <laughs> captain Charles Vane. The captain stood seven feet high in his boots. But you'd never have guessed that we dyed his roots. <laughs> oh. uh, captain Richard Squawkins. There never was a more despicable knave. But we gave him an impeccable body wave. <laughs> Okay, uh, let me find where we were in the strategy guides, so we can get a hint as to where we are supposed to go next. And I'm going to scroll through that fast, the summary, because that is going to give away hints at what is to come, and I'd rather be surprised. Uh, I should I should put a pin into which page we were on or something. <laughs> okay, let's see. Yeah, this is about where we were. Uh, da, 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 da. How can I find... Okay, that's where you... Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, so we need to get a haircut, I'm guessing, from what this is sending. Uh, get the scissors from the... Uh, okay, they're out of reach. To polite to <laughs> and Guybrush is too polite to stand up in the barber chair. 
Uh, okay. Can we just sit down? And yeah, there's a handle on this I thing. Sure could use a haircut. Have a seat, laddie, and I'll do you up with a fine quaff. Quaff? <laughs> okay. Uh, Okay, that also got us the paperweight. And you know, this can't be good for it. <laughs> oh, blast that ineffectual paperweight. I'll have to go find another. But what about my haircut? Keep your skirt on, lad. <laughs> oh, well, that sends him off. So can we just... Yes, we can. <laughs> oh, wrong end of it. Oh... Okay, is he... I'm guessing he's going to stay away for only a, a limited time. So... Okay. And if we hit this... Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, can we reach this now? Or... Nope. I can't reach them. Okay. We need something else to reach it, don't we? Uh, nope. There we go. <laughs> he's getting to the point. Hey, those things will probably make for us le more lethal sword than anything else they have here. Well, I searched the whole island and I couldn't have found a single rock for a paperweight. I suppose I'll just what? have to eyeball your haircut. I just remembered I have another appointment. <laughs> oh, I was going to give you a French braid too. <laughs> um... I don't know who was serious or mocking you. Can we just put this back? My pirate instincts tell me I should keep this to myself. Uh, oh, come on. Then oh, I God. think we might be done here for now, though. What do we actually have for use with the scissors? Good question. Hmm. And also, since I turned away to put away something, uh, I said, um, I'm unsure if it was, uh, it was be being serious or not with you about the French braid. <laughs> yeah. Um, I did get some minor spoilers from a YouTube and such, but nothing too big. Um, we need to find the manual for this, for the lights upstairs still somewhere, though I have no freaking clue where. Um, what could we use those scissors for? Do we need to look at... Hmm. Do we need to go look for another... <clears throat> another hint or something actually i probably should because otherwise we'll be roaming around a lot uh, da, 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 da. let's see uh, next it's actually talking about how to, to get the barbers to join the crew of uh, van helgen wants you to defeat him in a Duel of some sort. I have no idea what that other word is. Uh, mm -hmm. Cutthroat Bill needs gold. And the Haggis. Okay. Mm -hmm. Use the gold from. Gold from what? We have no gold. Or, or no glove. Oh, oh. Okay. We. <laughs> We can't get uh, Van Helgen to join uh, to get us into a duel with just mere insults. Uh, but but how do pe how did people back in the day uh, challenge others to a duel with a glove? So yeah, we're going to pimp smack him with a freaking glove. Oh, we are so going to regret this. Challenge to the field of honor. Choose your weapon. Yeah, that's not going to go well. Um, they all look the same. This is one thing that I got a somewhat of a spoiler of. But I don't. We don't need to pick one of these, but we should have a different option. Uh, Let's close this, 
and I open. The banjo. I accept. You do? <laughs> it's a banjo duel. See, we need to match what he does. What's the matter, brush boy? Can't you keep up? Uh, I'm sorry, I just lost myself in the beauty of the melody. <laughs> Would you like to try again? Yeah. Sure. I'm just getting warmed up. Okay, let's see. Five strings. Five. Five, three. Five, three, two. Five, three, two, four. It's a bit jarring for them to switch around all of a sudden like this with the styles, but okay. Okay, 5-2. Five, 5-2-5. Two. Five, two, five. Five, two, five, two. Thank you. One way to win this, <laughs> if not compile. <laughs> what? You shot my banjo. You can't be sure of that. That shot may have come from the grassy knoll. Of all the low-down tricks, I never heard of anything so low. I completely misjudged you. You are a pirate <laughs> after all. <laughs> I'd be proud to join your crew. <laughs> Great. I'll just pack this stuff up and get ready and give me back my gun. <laughs> I'll need two more sailors for my crew. Uh, okay, can someone please point out, did pirates have banjos? I'm not sure. Like the one thing, if you, when you think banjo, the one thing that pops to mind most is uh, <laughs> country music. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, oh yeah, they do that too. I was mostly thinking of uh, Louisiana. Oh, the swamps and alligators and all that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, I missed. <clears throat> I missed the uh, chat a bit there. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Hello there, lady. Yes, Lord. <laughs> uh, yeah, Polo El Diablo. We're going to need to hunt that thing down eventually. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, some lad. <laughs> and yeah, this, <clears throat> the the uh, bot does have a, an all caps spam. So sorry about that. Uh, it has an all caps spam filter. So sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. For cutthroat bill, we need gold, but I have. Yeah, we have no idea where to get bull. Let's see. Uh, steal the gold tooth from uh, who the hell that is in the chicken shop. What? Okay, blonde but we beard. can't get in. Uh, yeah, blonde beard, but we can't even get into the chicken shop at the moment because he throws us out the instant we try because we don't have a reservation. 
Hmm. All right, so I'll have to look through this more, or we have to find something else. Yep. Do you have a reservation? There's the uh, goat tooth. He doesn't have many teeth. Uh, yeah, that's a. Bit... <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Look at the painting on behind him. <laughs> okay, that like a weird chicken or something. <laughs> uh, oh, it's a chicken. Uh, I thought it was an eldritch horror. Oh, uh, okay. Apparently, someone has been waiting for their food for quite a while. Can we bluff our way through? Then let's see your reservation slip. No reservation slip, huh? Gotta make way for paying customers. Hmm. Okay, how do we get our hands on that then? Uh, let's see. Anything in here about how to get in there? It's, 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 um... Okay, apparently... It looks like the, the tree stuff is going to be for Haggis, which I shouldn't be too surprised by. And Haggis is the one voiced by Scrooge McDuck. Uh, let's see. Barbara won't let know. Let's see. It. No. Is it, uh, the... Hmm. Okay, that's back on the lemonade kit, which we can't finish yet, I think. Uh, I really hate the fact that this stupid program doesn't let me flip things over without actually paying for it, so that, that's freaking annoying. This, uh, this, this, this some... Hmm. Okay, let's just skip that for a bit and just find how the hell to get into the chicken place first. Mm -hmm. Actually, that isn't being said. Okay, that... So far... Um... You'll need to find another mug. Let's with the lemonade kid yet again. At the... Okay, I'm let's, go. let's see. The sunbathers at the Brimstone Club. Okay, but we can't get into the Brimstone Club. Uh, have a spare mug or two. Okay, so that is telling where we need to go for that, but we can't get to it yet. So, okay, it seems that the, the strategy guide is bringing up the answers as you run across them, even if you can't uh, fulfill them yet. Okay, so... Under both that and <clears throat> uh, getting cutthroat bill, we'll have to get back to later. So, how do we get? How do we challenge Haggis then? Okay. Yes, we need to beat him in a contest of strength. Oh, uh, I think I know which contest you're doing for. We we've seen this contest around. Yeah, the logs throwing one. How, how's Guy Press gonna do that? Cheating, of course. <laughs> but yeah, but how? Like, look, 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 here's the thing. Look at Guy Brush, then look at Haggis. <laughs> yeah, he's like five times as wide. <laughs> Probably more. Join my crew. You seem like a nice enough sort, Guy Brush. But a man cannot serve as my captain unless he earns me respect. And how would a man go about doing that? By besting me in a time-honored test of strength. <laughs> Helping you move? <laughs> Helping you move? Oh, could you? I just have a bed and a few boxes of books. I, I was just kidding. Was that really the test of strength? No. I'm talking about the traditional Highland display of strength and virility, the caber toss. What in the world is a caber? The caber is a large tree trunk. We go to the field of competition, and each of us heaves the caber as far as he can. The man whose caber goes the farthest is the winner. That's just about the stupidest sport I've ever heard of. I watch cable television. <laughs> Aye, but you cannot argue with tradition. Okay. Yes, Graham. 
Mm -hmm. You can all go against traditions that are becoming a bit more uh, harmful. Let's see. For this, we're going to need to cut down that rubber tree uh, yeah. upstairs. And the fume. Rubber tree. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, can we do that Let's do it. whilst we're doing the contest, then? <sighs> nope. We need to set this up ahead. I would never follow such a weak captain. Okay. Yeah, we need to set this up before, but it's still nice to see him even try and to utterly fail. Um, now, how do we get up there? Okay, bell. Is that going to be important or something? Uh, let's see. Actually, it wasn't... Hmm. I've forgotten how we got there. Actually, we have those scissors now, and they are sharp as all hell, so could we use those as a sort of machete? Mm. Yes, we can! Uh, okay, not a machete per se, but... Uh, okay, there we go. <laughs> Uh, guy was just being his inner gardener for a bit there. Where's this going to lead? Uh, where is he? There he is. Okay, Danger Cove. A, a club, box, machete. A, okay. A warning of s snakes, of course. Hmm, I wonder what this sign means. Snake crossing. What possible harm could a snake? Three, two, one. Ebb. Well, this isn't good. Okay. Uh, how are we going to get out of this one then? <laughs> uh. It's the fearsome head of that pirate eating snake. Uh, yeah, I'd love to punch him one, but I don't want to make him angry. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, now everything has been renamed. Snake beating club, high fiber cereal, snake slicing machete, snake beating stick, jaws of life, snake away. <laughs> snake away, maybe? Uh, we can't grab these. So this is this is this is the freaking totem again. I can't see what that is, but I bet it's a box of full of brand cereal. The highest fiber content available without a prescription. Last I heard, they added even more live white mouse flavor. What? What? <laughs> also, how are you seeing these things through the freaking snake? I bet that's a big old stick. The perfect snake beating size. I can't see it, but I'm sure it's a nine iron. <laughs> I think it's a machete sharp enough to cut through even the largest reptiles. I can't see it, but I bet it's Snake Away brand snake repellent. And the Jaws of Life. I think those are the Jaws of Life, which would really help me get out of this snake. But we can't get to any of them. Yeah. I can't reach it. Can we grab... Nope. I can't reach it. It looks so stupid. It, it, it. Right, what? Faberge egg? It's a priceless, what? delicate Faberge egg. What's that doing in here? Wait. Va vacuum cleaner attachment. The hell has the snake been? It's a complete array of vacuum cleaner attachments. Uh, what? There's lots of stuff. Hmm. Uh, I think this snake could use the cereal to get rid of all of this stuff. Okay, nothing else more, nothing on the other end. Uh, can we do anything now? No. I can't reach it. It's the fearsome head of that pirate-eating snake. Yeah, I'd love to punch him one, but I don't want to make him angry. I doubt he's in any mood to listen. 
uh, G, uh, what, uh, really, a coffee mug of <laughs> LucasArts. <laughs> it's a big steaming cup of joe. Some fried eggs, salt, pancakes, with the, uh, oh, and, and a reservation slip. <laughs> okay, so that's how Ooh. we got the, uh, and naturalist remains. Phone books. <laughs> what? Encyclopedia, top secret plans, pancake syrup, a stuffed dinghy dog. <laughs> okay. I think, I think it is the tourist and the entire backpack. Yeah. Um, and somehow the pancakes and all the stuff survived. Pancakes. <laughs> How are we going to get out of this? <laughs> It's the remains of a member of the Plunder Island Naturalist Society. Those guys sure are dedicated. <laughs> it's volume C and it's mostly digested. I can only make out page 243. A compass is a magnetized bit of metal floating in a solution. What a completely random piece of trivia. Uh, uh, random but uh, useful for general survival. Yeah. Watch with these. I hate to think what would happen if these fell into the wrong hands. These should only be used for good. Uh, and where you can see. Uh, wait, a I'm car tire? Just being inside this snake. Yep. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on, hold on. Grips the road and won't let go. Is it just a snake or a shark? Um, uh, maybe a mixture of both. <laughs> yeah, for shark eats random things. Usually for not the best for them. Like cannonballs. Uh, maple. Okay, the, the, the text said hmm, but it, <laughs> his voice sounded more like uh. He's wearing a little shirt that says I whooped it up at Big Whoop. <laughs> okay, Guy was just throwing that in the ocean the first chance he gets. Oh, so, uh, sausages, those look more like hamburgers to me. Uh, thick, fatty sausage patties. Sausage patties, okay, yeah. Those are good. Two eggs over easy. Wasn't that just making a, <laughs> a hamburgers with extra steps? It depends. You, 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 basically just, you just sliced a very big slice of sausage and you put it between two bread buns. Okay, I'm just going to take a quick look for the snake. Okay. Uh, ta -ta -ta. <laughs> Pick up everything. Use the flower. Oh, yeah, we did pick up a flower. Not going for the flower just by itself. Okay. Um. um we read somewhere inside. something about it. It's an Ipecac flower. Hmm. We need to mix this with something. We can't use it on the stomach itself, so we'll have to mix it. And also another freaking plaque. Massive man-eating snake. This fantastic reptile is one of Plunder Island's most dangerous and beautiful predators. <laughs> uh, okay, we're going to need to mix this with something. I don't know how to mix the flower with that. I don't know how to mix the flower with that. I don't know how to mix the flower with that. It makes syrup of ipecac. Oh, that seems logical. I think I know what happened. Hmm? It, it ate the naturalist that put the plaque there? Well, that too, just... I think it ate the naturalist along with his car or bike. <laughs> there we go. Yep. <laughs> and there we go. Whew. Oh. Sure a close one. I thought for sure when I got eaten by that snake that I was done for. Thank you. Um. Say. No. Hey. Getting a sinking feeling. <laughs> on, the quicksand is sucking all the cool stuff I found in that snake from my pants. There. Well, there's an odd sensation. <laughs> okay, that's probably the closest guy versus ever going to get the sex. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, oh, so is this a case of out of the frying pan into the fire? Indigenous peoples, this bush is named after a native word meaning yowch. 
Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> just be because we talked a bit over that. <laughs> Papa Pichu bush. Discovered by Plunder Island's indigenous peoples, this bush is named after a native word meaning yowch. Papa Pichu? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Quicksand pit. Quicksand pits of this type are common throughout Plunder Island's nature trails. Many an unwary traveler has found himself trapped and unable to escape. Uh-oh, someone, anyone, please, please help me, I'm sinking. Um. Whoever wrote that must have some pretty small handwriting to put it all in one little thing like that. <laughs> okay, yeah, they, we... should, they should make bigger signs to begin with. Yeah, <laughs> well, I got the thorn. I hope that was worth it. Okay, I get the feeling if we hadn't read the plaque, he would have just said "youch." <laughs> oh, well, we got a stick, <laughs> not a very big stick. Uh, mm. Hello there. Mm, no. <laughs> of all the places for a quicksand pit. <laughs> Uh, also, a little something with about uh, real-life quicksand pits. Uh, most of them are supposedly pretty shallow. So, yeah, if you just let yourself sink far enough, eventually your feet will just hit the bottom. And from there on, I don't actually know what you are supposed to do, though. Or I don't remember, at least. I have seen a video or two about quicksand pits. But, yeah, I forget the later half of how to actually get yourself the fuck out. <laughs> Yeah, if, if you do see a pit, do avoid it for in case it's not, if it, in case it is deeper than expected. Yeah, don't don't go swimming in these things. <laughs> yeah. Oh, vine, Arborealis deus ex machinas. This species of vine is noteworthy for both its strength and its ability to grow anywhere except where it's most needed. Really, deus ex machina plant? <laughs> uh, Let's see. How are we going to get in? And it's literally called Life Saving Vine. <laughs> I very much doubt. Hmm. Actually, if it's hollow. Neat. A world class pea shooter. Can we? Shooting the vine won't do any good. Can we shoot the chicken? I don't think she'd like that. Ah. Oh, come on. Don't torment the chicken. Otherwise, Thanks. you know, the bigger one may come for you. Yep, I forget. I need to track this off to the sides. Well, my aim is always off when I'm under stress. I might miss. Hmm. Can we just... If I thrash around, I'll only sink faster. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. What if you use the, the hollow stick on yourself? I don't think we have a use to <laughs> to shoot ourselves with that, and we can't no, even aim no, ourselves. No, really, no, no, it's not for shooting. Actually, we still have these things. Uh, I can't move anywhere in this quicksand. I can't uh, use with that. What I'm used to, yes, it is to use it as a breather. Yeah, we already put the thorn in it, so we can't use it. Hmm. Wait, will the floaty work? I find that a uh, bit doubtful. I can't use the skeleton arm with that. Hmm. Uh, uh, love the heck. Okay, um, going to take another peek at the strategy guide. Uh, you must hit the branch. Uh, vine. Toward divers, yeah. It's, it's, um, you must construct some device that will get. Okay, we need to hit. Okay, we need to shoot the branch and. Oh, there goes the chicken. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Hope we didn't need that. Okay. Um... Even if I could hit the branch with that, it wouldn't do any good. Okay, yeah, the branch is over there. It's a branch resting precariously on that tree root. Okay. 
Do we throw something at that? We have to paper weights. My aim is always off when I'm under stress. I might hmm. miss. If only I had some way of dropping the weight on the branch from directly above. Oh, that was a hint, and I just checked out the next uh, hint. Oh, <laughs> this is just stupid. What? what? It's just floating there. <laughs> what? I may not put it away just yet. I think I'm onto something here. Okay, and how do we get that moving now? What? By Odin's beard is going on. I can't use the skeleton arm with that. The magic wand has no effect on that. <laughs> okay, do we need to blow it away? If I pop it now, I'll never get out of this pit. Hmm. Okay, we need to give it a shove or something. If I pop it now, I'll never get out of this pit. Hmm. <laughs> Uh -oh. I want to cinch that with this ember. Hmm. Okay. What then? Next hint. And this is why I'm not good at <laughs> point and click adventure games because I'm too dumb for stuff like this. Yeah, though. Compared to the other games, this one is harder for. Unless the other games we had a chance without uh, the, the guide. Yeah, we, uh, we had used the hint system for that. This is, okay, uh, the, 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 the facial recognition stuff doesn't recognize it when I'm at a little 90 degree angle with this. Would have looked weird anyways. Uh, let's see. Yeah, but again, compared to other two games, we didn't use the guide too much. Like the, the whole yeah. hell thing. But yeah, a few times we did. Oops, sorry. Up there, blow. <laughs> really? Uh. For once today, things are going. <laughs> oh, no, that, that look on his face. Hey. Uh. Thank goodness for those unpredictable Caribbean trade winds. <laughs> Uh, yes, what the heck? There we go. Okay, I like it. It was visible on the map from the start. I just hope we uh, find a easier way to get back here after we're done with this. And Oh, hello uh -huh. there. It's the bay. Nothing about the sharks or <laughs> the triple fin shark or whatever that is. Yeah, is it three so sharks or something bizarre? Water tight. Guy brush. <laughs> Go visit. <laughs> Go visit an eye doctor. There's a big. Uh, oh, it's a patched hole, but it's still a freaking hole. Those must be the pirates who've taken Elaine. Okay, waterfall. Hmm. Oh, you, oh, you could just take a look at it instead of just inspecting it up close, Guybrush. Uh. Maybe trying to get a better angle to see it's the ship's name? Yeah, he's looking at the waterfall. Oh. It's wet. <laughs> really, Guybrush? <laughs> Refreshing. <laughs> uh, guy brush, gonna guy brush. Now let's see. Is there anything else here? We can go back to the rest of the island through there. Uh, okay. The more, the more we're playing this game or these games, the less I want to have my avatar redone in a Monkey Island style because. I I just feel stupid through association. He's actually going to? Okay. We are so going to get shot down, I think. Or not. Okay, where's the punchline? 
Uh, wait, it's really gonna be that easy? Likely not. Hmm. Still no comment on the shark. Oh, there was a bit there. Oh, no, it's, that's for the rowboat. It's... Either it's a time-honored form of pirate torture, or just a loose board. <laughs> and we picked it up. I'll never be able to pick that up. Okay. We can, we can actually loose climb on board. board. <laughs> Fifteen men on a dead man's... Huh. Who are you? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm a mighty pirate. Well, we'll just see how your threats sit with my captain. Your captain? Yes, Threepwood. You come aboard the Sea Cucumber. I am Mr. Fossey, and the first mate. And my captain? Why, he's the scourge of the seven seas. Aren't they all? Dead pirate. Let you... Let... Yes, captain. It's on the table, sir. Look sharp. That's right. Captain Much. Yeah. Yes, Captain. Just an intruder, sir. I'm dealing He's not going to be LeChuck. <laughs> he says you'd be tortured. Choose your punishment. You can either be tarred and feathered, or you can walk the plank. It's, uh, I walked the plank thing on the way up good enough. <laughs> okay. Uh, stern warning. Feathered sounds good. How about just feathered? <laughs> that plank thing on the way up. Good enough? No. Sorry. Well, I suppose we'll have to go with walking the plank. We're trying to avoid using the tar and feathers. It's messy, and we need to save the tar for emergency leak repair. Nope, nope, uh, what do you say, man? Shall we make him walk the plank? Saw the monkeys? Saw the low-quality monkeys? <laughs> okay. Any last words, three foot. I'll be back to kill you all. All right, in you go. Uh, he is just going to jump back into. Yep. <laughs> That's odd. There was no splash. Splash. Uh. <laughs> uh. Seriously. Uh. Oh, hello there. Looks like a light is on in the captain's cabin. That kind of window usually locks from the inside. I'll have to find another way in. Okay. I'm guessing we're going to need some of that tar then. Uh, and yes, that was actually used to uh, fill in holes and such, I believe. <clears throat> is there some way we can sabotage this thing or something? Hmm. I have a uh, hero there, but that kind of makes sense, and actually, yeah, I guess Toad is also a bit of waterproof? Yeah, we could have guessed that there were monkeys from all of the banana peels. Oh, I want to lose the banana peels now. Who's there? <laughs> you again? I don't know uh -oh. why you came back on board, but you'll be sorry you did. And here we go again. All right, in you go. Uh, the people of this world aren't too clever, are they? Again, I, I just find it funny that for some reason the monkeys are specifically of much lower quality. Okay, but we got some tar now, I think. Or, actually, we didn't. Hmm. Okay, well, we know that all of this is here. So, if need be, we can come back here. Hmm. Alright. Hmm. Uh, let's get back to the rest. Uh, we can go to the swamp. No, now we can go to Danger Cove. Now that the... Now that the way has been cleared. Now then, back here. No, actually, coming back from through here. That's nice. And 
let's see if we can sab actually we have the reservation slip so we can steal blonde beard's tooth do you have a reservation of course i have a reservation then let's see your reservation slip very good you may seat yourself mr uh, pardon me mrs brian Stu. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, that was the uh, reservationist, or the conservationist that got eaten. Quiet patron. Dear poor lady. Softly reserved for a pirate. Hey, mister. Mister, you listening? And uh, here we go. It's <laughs> one of LeChuck's skeletal horde. Aye, I fixed his little red dinghy, but good. Mm, the undead that walk among us must surely be destroyed, lest their evil like overrun and befoul the world of the living. Aye, and he complained about me chicken. Oh. <laughs> what? Um, that's, a, that's a reference to Grim Fandango with the face like that. Hmm. What the heck? Maybe one day we'll uh, stream that as well, but of course, again, with a, <laughs> with a guide to get me yeah, through. It is a good game. Dude, maybe they have me a me remake or something about it? Hmm... Not to my knowledge, at least. This whole sordid scene has litigation written all over it. Hey, dropped He's a dead. coin or something on the table? It. It's a button. It says, ask me about Grim Fandango. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a reference to the Loom guy. I don't want people always asking me about Grim Fandango. <laughs> Club cards. Brimstone Beach Club. Member since 1632. Ah. <laughs> okay, we need that. Let's see. Value meal. Two drumsticks plus super slaw. Looks like a fine deal if you like slaw. Hmm. To gold, I'm thinking it says. Hmm. Yeah, if that is yeah, really scratching your ass with your hook, that's going to hurt. <laughs> yeah, uh, oh, that's where the sound is coming from. But I thought, yeah. I thought it was supposed to be going down, downstairs in the kitchen. Let's see, we've got a barrel of biscuits. Biscuits and more. I wonder what the more is. Uh, oh, I hate the sound effects here. Uh, he's flipping through a book. Um, it's more of the Not kitchen. The sound that there's only in the kitchen. And in the way it sounds, it makes me keep lifting my headphones. It sounds like this. So it's going on in the same room or something as me. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, my brain is getting very confused. Through the old fashioned way, the unsanitary way. Come on. Ugh. Well, they are pirates, but still. Yeah, actually, yeah, pirates were actually more hygienic than people for. Um. Okay, that lo does look kind of <laughs> scary, as long as you keep your eyes on the upper half. Okay. I wish that was a real ship that I could use to sail the Blood Island. Let's see. Can we get into there? Nope. Hmm. Now, how are we going to get that tooth of his? It's the owner of the shop. He's got a gold tooth. And it's one of his few to eat teeth. <laughs> I just realized that. What a lucky pirate are ye! Me? You've struck gold, boy! I have? Gold, gold, gold! Uh. Gold and nuggets of chicken! Oh. <laughs> a treasure trove of deep fried fun. <laughs> now, what can kindly old Captain Blondebeard bring you for lunch? But what I was to say is, this the painting here now looks slightly derpy with the eyes, but as we quickly look him to look closer, look it looks extremely terrifying. <laughs> Let's see. Roasted waddle mole? The hell is that? I'll have the uh, broasted waddle mole. 
We're out of that, I'm afraid. Move, Mole. Actually, I'm out of just about everything. Not a drumstick left. All I have left are those biscuits and a few tubs of our special Ipecac slaw. How's the Ipecac slaw? Not bad. But 15 minutes later, you'd be hungry again. <laughs> What's the more in biscuits and more? It be me secret <laughs> ingredient. It makes me biscuits come alive with flavor. Should my we probably shouldn't ask because we <laughs> wouldn't want to know. Business must be good if you're sold out of chicken. Sold out? I never said nothing about being sold out. Then what happened to all your chicken? Ah, tis a story steeped in terror, marinated in mayhem. There be a horror that prowls the jungles of Plunder Island. A seven foot tall monster he be. And he has a hatred for mankind unequal. His preternatural rage burns hotter than the coals used to roast a million of his kin. He is El Pollo Diablo. The Devil Chicken. The Devil Chicken! The Devil Chicken. He hates me most of all. And his revenge against me must be tastier than me hearty giblets and cracklins party mix. What's he done? He turned loose all me chickens, returned them to the wild to roam the jungles free as nature intended. Even now, I have a huge order to fill and no chicken to fill it. But I know he's not through. Ruining me business is just the first step. Someday he'll return for me. But mark this. I'll be ready for him, and a seven-foot chicken means me business will be thriving once more. <laughs> yeah, we're probably going to need to kill that chicken and bring it here. <laughs> also, he has a, an order to fill with filet. Wait, wait, what? The fill with filet, or fill it with filet. There's only <laughs> one letter difference. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Nice gold tooth you have there. Hi! It glistens like the golden topping of grease on me luscious batter fried chicken. Hmm. I have to say, I'm not too big of a fan of fried chicken. Like, I, grilled and such, I, <laughs> I'll take chicken any day. But I just have it less with, uh, yeah, fried chicken. Like, it's not that I completely hate it or something. I will eat it, but I just... Do not really like the contrast between the uh, outer layer and the insides. I like both. How long have you been out of chickens? Weeks, months maybe. And it's not the loss of business that hurts me the most. No? I miss the taste of me chicken. You can die <laughs> this world over, but you'll never be a connoisseur of carrion till you had a taste of me savory squab. Why, even now, I got me a craving for me palate pleasing poultry. Ah, I can taste it now. Me crispy bounty of breaded beaks. There'd be nothing like the hearty crunch from these pan fried jewels. Isn't that a little hard on your teeth? Aye, but the challenge of it all be half the dining enjoyment. Now that I got the thought of that crispy chicken extremity in me head, I'll be pining for the crunch till I get me something to crack me teeth on. <laughs> Bit literally, in his case, on the ladder. Let me explain why he has so few of them. Yep. Would you like to join my crew and sail the Blood Island? What? Leave me shop unguarded? Why, you treacherous tripe? You're lucky I don't take out me whisk and run you straight through. Whoa, yes. whoa, whoa, calm down. I was just asking. Sorry. I'm as edgy as a beached whale in Nantucket. Just look at what fear that demonic fowl has done to me nerves. Okay, this guy likes his alliteration a lot. Yeah, and this... Okay, the, the background sound in this area is confusing me. I thought so... We keep thinking now even that someone's calling me for some reason. <laughs> okay, let's try and get through this as quick as uh, possible then. Don't you ever like to get outside the shop? Hi! I love the outdoors, especially the beach. Why, I'm in fact a member of the Brimstone Beach Club in Smorgie. Been a member there for years. How did you become a member? I threatened to run them all through. <laughs> then I lost my membership card. 
Last time I remember having it, it was in me breast pocket. I believe I was in the kitchen preparing some grub. Then I had that awful sneezing fit. Oh, uh... that was bad. No matter. I guess I'll just have him issue me a new one. Yeah, you don't want to be on a sneezing fit in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. And I, I, I actually started to think they actually went to a kitchen to record all the sound effects. Did I mention how much I admire your gold tooth? Aye, you did. It's one heck of a gold tooth. And blonde beard serves up one heck of a lunchtime value. Okay, I get the feeling we need to feed this guy this... Actually, we don't have the rock anymore, I think. Hmm. No, no, I think you want to feed him the... Fried beaks. To whom are you going to deliver your chicken? There lies a pirate ship in danger, Cole. And the first mate oh. of that ship fancies me chicken. But I better be delivering their chicken soon. Most likely I won't even have time to cook it. Why is that? You see, I got me this delivery in 30 days or it's free policy. And I'd be running a bit behind. What are the pirates of Danger Cove like? They're a secretive lot. And I can't say I've seen too much of them. They seem to be what one would expect from a bunch of grog swinging pirates. As filthy and hairy a bunch of swabs as you'd ever hope to meet. But beware of their captain. From what I hear, he's got the disposition of a shark in need of a root canal. If he be catching you near his boat, you'll be tortured for sure. Um. Okay. I'll let you get back to work. Aye. Now then. Buttery biscuit. Hmm. Yep. Let's see. That looks delicious. <laughs> hmm. We're going to need. Oh. Jawbreaker. I get the feeling... That doesn't need a jawbreaker. Nope, then. Hmm. Do you think give it to him? Uh, with all of that hair on it? I don't think so. Oh. Ew. But at least we have that membership card, so we can go check out the beach. We still haven't found no use for his mud puddle so far. Okay. <laughs> There's even a few sharks here. Oh, even even is it only a few pixels? Okay. Uh, hey there. Mm -hmm. I think those are the same sharks. Well, uh, this this other sharks that we saw were in Danger Cove, which is on the complete other side of the island. It's the same three fins. Excuse me. Yes, you filthy little man. My card. <laughs> Let me see that. Oh no! In the name of all things clean, you've got a membership! Yes. And I think I'll just take one of your fluffy clean towels and enjoy a nice relaxing stroll down your beach. No! You mustn't! Um. <laughs> I must. And perhaps I'll sunbathe nude. Sweet mother of pearl, no! Now that I think about it, it is nice out on the far end of the beach. You should go there. You should go there now. <laughs> okay, that was up with him. May I please have some of your oil? That oil is solely for the use of the fry station technician. What's with that face? <laughs> okay. Uh, is there some other stuff that we can grab here? Well, I don't want to carry that Probably around. the towels. Yeah. Nice fluffy towel. Okay, let's go have a look then. Uh, actually, uh, can we get one of these weenies? Oh, cabana boy. Yes. It's quite hot. Put your towel and mop my brow, would you? Can I have another look at that card of yours? Uh, actually, the towels are right here. I'll just help myself. Okay, he's smart enough to know that we're probably bullshitting him. <laughs> and even now you can see the sharks there. Huh. And it's, I said that! And do you see? Three yeah. fins. Yeah. Are and they are, following yeah. you? Uh, knowing Guybrush's luck, good chance. And there's actually nothing we can interact here with except for the sunbather. 
Oh. Hot. Go, come on. What? <laughs> really? These holes in my shoes, I'll never get across that hot beach. He's incredibly pale. <laughs> oh, come on. I know that sand can get hot, but you're... Okay, he has holes in his shoes. He admits. <laughs> come on. <laughs> uh. Who's in you? At this point, nothing will be surprised me about Gary Rich anymore soon. Just what the heck? Really? Wow, that's one hot beach. Uh, are uh, we sure this guy is uh, alive? <laughs> uh, uh, okay then. Yep, wrong button. Hmm, I get the feeling we might need to get rid of him nice somehow. But for now, I'm a bit out of ideas of how to progress. Um, actually, it, one of the earlier hints said that they have an extra mug here somewhere. Yeah, oh, I can see it. It's on top of his stomach. Hmm. Okay, let's have a look through the strategy guide again. Uh... It's a hole in the boat. In the... What? Yeah, the... um, yeah. There's pretty... a hole in the boat we had earlier. But we could still use it. Huh? Okay. Let's see then. Okay, so we know where to get some of these things that we need for some things, but we can't, or we don't know how to get to them yet. The, the shock is fall. Why are the shocks following us? <laughs> yeah, because Guybrush has the worst luck in the history. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Biscuits. And uh, the rubber tree. What? Oh yeah, we also need to we also need to sabotage the uh, test of con strength over here. But how do we get to that area again? Hmm. Good question. I thought about if that is an actual shark. Yeah, I get the feeling. It, I get the feeling it might be someone uh, or some people. Playing pranks or something. I no, I don't. I think it's something worse. Mm, like there's something like, too. Something along that line. Like, it says the fins are swimming too close, close to each other. So I, I've. So I'm assuming there might be some sort of sea monster. Let's see, rubber tree. And yeah, we, we both know Last Shark has quite a lot of uh, rude or stuff. Yeah. Okay, to get this tree down, we need to sabotage this keg. It's a wooden sawhorse supporting that keg of rum. Actually, we have something that could be used as an improvised saw. Yep, yep right, choice. <laughs> Wait, are we going... Are we going to blow up a tree? It's a trail of rum leaking from the keg. Okay, time to duck and cover. Is rum really flammable? <laughs> oh, my head is spinning. I gotta lay off the rum. You don't even drink rum. I'm pretty sure you've never been allowed to drink in your life except for the drinking contest with Captain Rum. Okay. Uh, at least we can challenge him now. Are you sure you don't want to join my crew? It's as I told you, Guybrush. Not until you can best me in the cable toss. Sounds great. Let's do it. 
I like that voice acting. <laughs> okay, that works. <laughs> hey, I win. By the spiraling bouffant of my great uncle McManus. Never before have I seen such strength. Sure, I'll join your crew. I'll wait at the shop until you're ready to leave. Uh, I'll need one more sailor for my crew. He must have something in his eyes because that was very clearly a bounce. <laughs> so let's bounce out of here. All right, then. Um, All right. Bounce, 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 bounce. Uh, we're not gummy bears. <laughs> Hmm. Wait, the candy or the show? The show. Love the show. As a kid. I even loved the Aladdin show as a kid. Let's see. I want to keep this biscuit. I may get hungry later. Okay. Uh, let's, um, let's see. Paste with the plug, but we don't have any paste. Construct a plug using the biscuit from the, from the rubber... Wait, at the rubber tree? What? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. Actually, let's do this to do a bit of a shortcut because then we... Nope. Oh. Okay, I thought we'd enter through the other side, but apparently this is the standard entrance point now. Okay. So we're going... There's going to have to be some use for that puddle. Don't think we have used it so far. Okay. So... What of the... This, then... It's the remnant of a once mighty rubber tree. I keep forgetting that I need to move it off to the side. I want to keep this biscuit. I may get hungry later. Hmm. I want to keep this biscuit. I may get hungry later. No, we're... Huh? Okay, what are we missing here? Let's see. Construct a plug using the biscuit. Oh, using the biscuit cutter. Okay, I don't think this counts as a biscuit cutter, but oh well. well. This knife might cut through regular wood, but not a rubber tree. Hmm. This serrated knife won't work here. And yeah, that's <laughs> that's the sunbather over there. Yep, I keep forgetting you even though it just said it. This serrated knife won't work here. Hmm. I don't want to cut that. Well, the tree's too rubbery to cut with scissors. Okay, we're missing something. Mm. All of this turning my head 40 and 90 degrees is starting to make my neck hurt. Um, uh, okay, wait, so. uh, was there another knife you missed in there? According to this, uh, apparently. Hello again. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Biscuits and more. I wonder what the more is. Yeah, in this case, butter, it seems. A, a window. What's that use? It's the window to the outside. Okay, that's going to come into play, I'm guessing. Uh, but to save your ears again, let's step out. Let's see. Save my ears? Well, thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Let's see. Mm 
Uh, drum breaker. Yeah, when I fix that, I'm gonna grab myself a bit more to drink. Okay. Chicken in the chicken shop. Hmm. Okay. Construct a plug using the biscuit cutter from the chicken shop from the rubber tree at the caver fields. You get through the. Hmm. There isn't a cookie cutter thing. Anyway, let's let's see if he actually. I'll wait for Rakir to return with that. Um, I just returned. Just yep. sat down on my chair. <laughs> we Would actually. Uh, he act. He actually. Yeah. Ouch! I think I loosed me gold tooth. I knew sweets were being bad for me teeth, but it had a fine crunch and were a fiesta of flavor. From now on, I'll be sticking to fleshier foodstuffs. Something, something chewy. Well, there I go again. This old salt's got a craving for something to squish between me teeth. Okay, it's been loosened, but it's still there and also good. Wait. Huh? He Is actually it ate it. To... How would hmm. it react sugar? I get it, it broke, it put it loose and all that, but the way he spoke about it, it's a bit like he doesn't understand how goat teeth works. Yeah, I think he just uh, bit down too hard on it with the tooth instead of the actual sugar. Uh, uh, that's more likely. He doesn't hmm. seem to be, uh, you know, all there. True. Hmm. Okay, what's this about cookie cutter? <clears throat> Pardon? Let's see. Pardon? Probably enlarge this a bit. Uh, that's back on the snake and the quicksand. Okay. Seriously. It's a biscuit cutter. We. This, hmm, this isn't a biscuit cutter. What did, we, a very sharp knife. what did we use it on the wrong place or something? Let's see. From the chicken shop, from the rubber tree, and the caber fields. You get... Hmm. Okay, maybe we should leave that be for now then. And move on to something else. Hmm. Some... It seems something about chicken in here, but there's only the bones here. Wait, what? Well, there's really something here. Bill said he wanted gold and such, correct? Yeah, and he want you know, for that we need to give him the tooth, uh, the gold tooth. Why wouldn't the Parmesan egg work? It is full of maggots. Oh. Aye, <laughs> that's my special ingredient. That's just the right amount of exotic flavor. It's a good thing, too, because I can't keep them out of the food around here. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I think we now know why this guy is dead. Well, he, uh. he did say he killed him for insulting about his chicken. Yeah. <laughs> For good reason, it seems. Uh, but yeah, you do what? Some maggots you can eat and all that. Some are used in cheese. No, you, I don't think you want that in your chicken. But that's okay. probably the type of maggot you don't want to eat if you, when it's inside your chicken. Would you like some gum? Thanks. Hmm. This is really good steak flavored gum. It gets you here. And it gets you right here. Okay. He sucked the bubble back in before I could get to it. And there goes his tooth. 
Why, you little scamp. <laughs> That's quite a funny trick you played on old Cap and Blonde Beard. Okay, let's just get that and get the third of our crew. And get the hell out of this uh, OSHA violation. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah. Just never joke with food, people. <laughs> yeah. It's a rather spitty gold tooth. Sharp too. It's kind of pointy. Check this out. Is that real gold? I guess you can find treasure. So you'll join my crew? Sure. As long as my partners will join too. Well, I got my whole crew. Okay, that's one step done. Um, uh, wait, what? Blondebeard won't let me carry the two stars. Ilya, cutscene. <laughs> oh. Look at all this stuff, mate. Oh, that must have been some battle. Let's pull up anchor and make for Skull Island. King Andre will pay through the nose for all this loot. Wait a minute. There's something else. <laughs> it's, uh... It's, uh, it's some kind of footwear. <laughs> hey, those are nice boots. <laughs> but they're still hot. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, well, Blitchuck is back. <laughs> okay. Give me boots. No, I mean shiver though. They're, they're apparently too hot. And uh, apparently we weren't supposed to be able to just walk out with the golden tooth. We were supposed to throw it out the window because Blondebeard would stop us. But that didn't actually happen. Huh. Curious. Did we just walk out at the perfect time that he wasn't looking or something? <laughs> Maybe? Hmm. Well, let's hope you didn't miss too much of the cutscene. Now I saw it uh, from where they were picking stuff up with in the, in the chicken with the barrel. <laughs> yeah, hmm. so basically you saw more than me. Okay, this feels like a, a part of it was just plain old skipped or something in the GOG version or something. Hmm. Maybe. Okay. Okay, next part of the guide is pointing towards uh, the pirates here. And then we need to disable... <laughs> we need to sabotage the plank so we can get... Hard and feathered. <laughs> what? Uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm guessing plugging this hole. I'm guessing some things in this version of the game have already been done uh, for you. To uh, yeah, ease things along a bit, perhaps. Maybe the more. Let's see. Okay. Uh, ta -ta -ta. You seem to have not picked the Mega Monkey difficult uh, mode of the game, so you have more simple quests. Okay, that yeah, that explains. We did pick that at the start, so yeah, some of the, <laughs> some of the, uh, yeah, some of this stuff has already yeah, has been pre-done or streamlined for us. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, thanks for that. Uh, yeah. Thanks for that, uh, Lolo uh, Melon, or if that's how you say the name. <laughs> and, and hi to your back. Are you doing well there? Hopefully we're not being too stupid with this game. <laughs> Hello! Uh. Let's see. Yep, there what we go. is that? But I'm so paranoid of that thing. For yeah, you, you look at yourself. The, the things are too plank. close to each other. Yeah, wait, wait, we don't want the plank. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm great, thanks. I'm glad you're having fun. Yeah, <laughs> we've been streaming. Uh, uh, we, we're basically streaming through the 
uh, Monkey Island series on Saturday as a side thing next to our main week stuff. And yeah, we've definitely been enjoying the special editions and this one as well. <laughs> okay, time to get for Guybrush to get even more humiliated than usual. It's a big old sloppy bucket of tar. I'm not sure that counts as a bucket anymore. <laughs> really? Not even I could handle a gut full of tar. <laughs> yeah, they would probably. Uh, they there. would. <laughs> That would probably kill you through just complete blockage. Mistaken on board the ship. I don't know how or why you came back on board, but the next time you walk the plank will be your last. What's that, Captain? Vandals? Yes, sir. Tar and feathers. I know it's messy, but it's the only torture we have left. Our illustrious Captain has declared that you shall be tarred and feathered. Nope. Um. <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> That'll learn you. Uh, that wasn't too uh, hard. So what do I do now? Hmm. I don't know. We've never done this before. <laughs> Aren't you humiliated? I guess so, but no more than usual. Well, and just get lost then. <laughs> uh, and we still walk the plank, whatever remains of it. <laughs> it's just going, this is going to stick. Uh, uh, <laughs> what do we do with this? Uh, wait. Uh, oh, big chicken. Uh, something to the. What if you. Supposed to be fake being the chicken to scare someone. The question is or going to be who. Will you be able to approach the giant chicken easier? <laughs> <laughs> well, someone at least uh, <laughs> knows what's going on. I'm sorry. I can't take you seriously while you're dressed like that. <laughs> Uh, well, thought, we know I someone thought... who is going to react to this. Yeah, and I saw the sharks again uh, by the water. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a reservation? Mm -hmm. Madre de Dios! Es el pueblo diablo! Wait, what's the big ass bucket for? Oh, wait, uh. Okay. It's el pueblo diablo! The giant demon chicken of Puerto Pollo. You weren't content just to release all my chickens and scare all my customers away, were you? Uh, that's right. Well, you're not taking me without a fight. This was a bad idea. <laughs> Ugh, this chicken grease washed off all the feathers. Whoops, I better keep quiet. Absolutely, Captain. I'll get right on it after I have my dinner. What's that, Captain? I eat too much fried chicken. Well, I, I've just got a weakness for chicken. Um. That's all. I know you don't have any weaknesses, Captain Lechimp. You're an overachiever, a doer. Well, I'm just a tiny little fly. Lechimp? The captain is an ape? Well, if the captain is an ape, then Mr. Fossey must be. Aye, aye, Captain. Fresh bananas for the whole crew. An utter loon. Like that, Captain? <laughs> Your parasites are bothering you. Well, of course I'll groom you, sir. You know, sir, finding this gold statue may be just the boost our crew needs. What, with the riches we get from this, we can get new and better ships and become the terror of the Caribbean. Uh, someone's gone bananas. Uh, oh, treasure map. Yeah, they'd see me. Also, how did you get out of? How did you get through the cooking process alive, guy brush? Wait, he said he would send it raw. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, that that actually explains. It's a long story. I'll explain later. Wait, what? Uh, what? what? I'm not in the mood for fruit. It's Mr. Fossey, the first mate. It's the Dread Pirate Lechimp. 
It's a tire swing. Wait, is that a shim? A shim? It looks more like a gorilla. <laughs> oh, orangutan? Quite a bit of a feast. That must be the map to where they've buried Elaine. <laughs> they've buried her already. <laughs> Does that count as being buried alive if you're an object? Oh, uh, uh, alien. <laughs> If he knows I'm here, he might do something even more horrible to me. <laughs> I think Mr. Fossey is the only guy who can talk to him. It's a bowl of bananas. Okay, the hell are we supposed... We even get some of the grease. Who's <laughs> supposed to blood? Okay, we, we should have... We should have headed into the barber shop to see how they would react to chicken brush. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Uh, let's see. Use ventriloquism book. Oh yeah, we we haven't used that in a bit. Uh, testing, testing. Uh, check one, two, uh, uh, three. Uh oh, I'm hearing the voices again. <laughs> <clears throat> Mr. Fossey, I've been thinking. Are you all right, Captain? You sound different. Don't interrupt. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Maybe it's time we gave up pirating. I mean, take a look around at me and the rest of the crew. We're all monkeys. You mean in the Darwinian sense, sir? No, I mean in the quite literal sense. Uh, have you noticed that the crew is happier swinging from the masts than swabbing the decks? I don't even want to mention what they've been flinging around the ship. <laughs> Are you suggesting that I'm not disciplining the crew enough? No, no, I'm suggesting that we all give up this charade and go back to the trees. That's the life for a monkey, not sailing the seas for months on end. Well, if you feel so strongly about it, sir, I suppose I can't argue. I think our last order of business should be to dig up that statue and... It'll be tough on the men, sir, but I'll tell them that you think it best. Okay, but first we should dig up that statue and give it to... I'll make sure they understand that it's not their fault. Very good. And then we can dig up that statue and... Okay, never mind then. <laughs> Even when he succeeds, he fails. That must be the map to where they buried Elaine. With all eyes open, follow the path to the X. X marks the spot. That's not much of a map. <laughs> or... uh, hello. I think Mr. Fossey is the only guy who can talk to him. I mean, if this we can grab... I can't imagine any need for a loaf of plunder bread. Any biscuits I bread? Another biscuit. I avoid salt whenever possible and only use fresh ground pepper. Okay. <laughs> Picky. I don't want anything that smelly. I think I'll leave that here. Come on. No, the corn is all buttery and greasy. More porcelain? When will this nightmare end? <laughs> I never liked cranberries and I don't plan to start now. I'm not in the mood for bananas. <clears throat> I'm not that interested in mashed potatoes right now. If I pick it up, it'll melt in my pants. Okay. <laughs> I think we're ready here. We're done here then. <laughs> okay. But seriously, that, that's not much of a riddle of where to find the uh, Elaine. Whoops, there's no rowboat. Oh, uh, yeah, the, how the hell are we going to get out of here then? Hmm. Uh. The bucket? We can open this up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that <laughs> paddle for all your life's worth, guy. Rest paddle. <laughs> uh, <laughs> real or fake, those sharks are good motivators, all the least. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At the least. Uh, wait. I think I know what. Okay, if it's not a sea monster, I think I have a theory what it might be. Consider I have seen it in classic cartoons. 
Uh, someone screwing around with fake pins. A more unique one. Tony Shark, Giant Fin. <laughs> okay, let's see. Next hint is pointing at... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Instru instructions are hidden on the boat? Wait, what? Oh, hold on. The the lighting in the in the theater had banana peels all over it, and we just came from a ship with bananas. So, did they bury Elaine in the theater? Typically, the <laughs> uh, gee, is this is this really what we need to use this uh, with? In the end, do you see the drop pile? Yeah, <laughs> buried her there. I think that would help. Really? Did they? There's <laughs> a wig here. No, I like the natural look. No. He you brute. In fall Caesar. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I just can't watch. Uh, <laughs> it's so terrible, even Guybrush can't stand it. Uh, hey there in the chat, uh, Atrus. Uh, uh, how's it going? And wow, this game's animation looks so much different. Yeah, th this was where they started. Uh, this is where they started from. Where they transitioned from, uh, from pixel animation to hand-drawn stuff, as you can clearly see. And I do like it. It has his own charm. Let's see. Uh, let's see. It's the instructions for the lighting board in the theater. Okay, I'm guessing this probably has also been simplified for this. So let's take a look. I uh, can't get the actor off stage. If he's not juggling, you don't stand a chance. If he is juggling, he will soon juggle the cannonballs. Um, okay. Use the chicken grease. Okay, or the oil on the cannonballs. Uh, well, he isn't juggling, and we can't really. That's oh. it. That must be where Elaine is buried. Well, that was simplified. <laughs> Just pull the freaking lever. And now, the moment I know you've all been waiting for. How about some amazing juggling? <laughs> It's juggling with daggers. Okay. Um, I'm not seeing any cannonballs here. Oh yeah, now, now we know that the uh, <clears throat> the strategy guide that I have on the side here is for the uh, Mega Monkey Difficult version. Or Mega Monkey Difficulty. And yeah, since we're go doing the simplified version, there's going to be steps that we can is skip. This a dagger I see before me? No, it's Thankfully... <laughs> <laughs> See how I juggle these knives? At great personal risk to myself and to you if I slip. He's a great juggler, but I sure wish he'd get off the stage so I can dig Elena. up. It's hmm. just me. Does it look like juggling do them a bit wrong? Oh. Nice. Oh, now the crate is open now. Cannonballs. Uh, yeah, I I'm guessing those are fake knives. <laughs> So we can do what uh, with uh -oh. the as the ones. It looks like he's coming for the cannonballs now. And now <laughs> the ultimate Shakespearean delight. The what? famous cannonball juggling scene from Romeo and Juliet. Whoa. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> bravo, bravo, encore. Encore. Oh wait, no, no, not encore. Encore. We need to dig up. The um, got the girl in the end. Oh, come on. Uh, no, we've got one that wants an encore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's dig up our girlfriend. <laughs> Was this here before, actually? I think so. Also, did they really just... Elaine Whoop. should be safe up in the crow's nest. For now. 
Wait, we're coming during this ship? <laughs> well, it makes sense. Uh, okay, we have it a crew. Gonna... We have a ship that needs uh, lots and lots of cleaning. <laughs> oh, dear. Even the door gods are judging you now. Wait, okay. they do look like they're judging you. How do we get off this thing? Oh, nice hello. Boots, huh? Sorry. Hey, what do you know? I really am big bone. Uh oh, quiet. Here comes Captain LeChuck. He got himself a new crew. Okay, I don't really like the effect on his voice. I, I liked it better without it. <laughs> I, I find his lips a bit weird for some reason. But that was that was very well animated. <laughs> oh, definitely. No arguments there. Now then, uh, we need directions to Blood Island, and then we might actually be done here. I. <laughs> And again, there's, there's still the guy on the beach that we get have to get to, uh, even if we have to dart sun rays as we go there. Uh, how is Blondebeard doing? Uh, he's... He's still, uh, him. <laughs> now, where's that actor? Did he come back for his encore? Or... Nope. <laughs> <laughs> really, they just stuck her under the floorboards. <laughs> yes, cl clap for the stupidity. <laughs> now, where the hell did he go? Hmm. Yeah, we really should have checked in with the barber shop <laughs> whilst we were tarred and feathered. <laughs> Could they have gone here? Seems they seemed like they were completely launched out of the building, at least. <laughs> uh. Nope. <laughs> Only the, the evidence of her crime remains there. Where the hell could they have gone? The cabana? Hmm. Let's see. Uh, yeah, the manager is the one that has the directions, and he's the one here. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. Yes, he's on the far side of the beach, we know that. Let's see. Kevin Boy would let me on. How, okay, that's, we've already crossed this. I can't get across the sand. This is the one we need. It's too hot for Guy Brush's flimsy shoes. Need something thick and soft to lay on the sand. Three towels, if they were wet. Okay. So... Yoink. And I'll yoink. One more. Okay, now we have three towels, but we need somewhere to wet them. The, bu uh, the ice bucket? Yeah, could actually. It, by, by this point, I very much doubt that it is still ice. Yep, there we go. What will you do without me? <laughs> the towels are all wet now. Okay, so the towels are just not my guy brush now. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, ah, <laughs> uh, just this. <laughs> The music changed to the steel drum. 
I really like that instrument, actually, the steel drum. It has a very tropical sound. Oh yeah, and very nice improvising with the, well, drums. Yep. Really? Right. Mm. Uh, <laughs> of course. Uh, hello there, can we okay. just take that? Is this sound buffing with a helmet on? Apparently that's a conquistador helmet. <laughs> Um, I think you're a bit late, sir. I forgot what the helmet is called, but I do know that the Dutch also used it. Hmm. I don't actually remember. I know there was the tricone, but that was more of a British or French thing, I think. Tricone is a regular hat, not a helmet. Yeah. Also, think how long have you been here? Do I think the Spanish used it the longest? Wow, you're pale. <laughs> Look, babe, I haven't been sunbathing for very long, so cut me some slack. How long have you been out here? Since September. <laughs> uh, really? <laughs> it should have been cooked alive. I've seen correctional fluids with better color than you. <laughs> yeah, babe. I'm not the tannest cat around, but as you can see, I'm working on it. You look like you've lived under a rock your whole life. <laughs> My complexion is a little on the light side, I'll give you that, but soon I'll be a bronzed god. You've got the bronzed? savage pale. Please, babe, if you say any more, I will become very self-conscious. <laughs> hey, I can see my reflection in your chest. Thank you for your keen insight, my friend. <laughs> Why don't you go do something useful now? Like inhale a puffer fish. Okay, babe? <laughs> Has he mistaken guy brush for a woman or something? What, what, what is it called? No, Imagine. he's just being a bit flamboyant. You're so pale, you make snow look tan. Be quiet now. <laughs> I bleach chalk if it's as pale as you. All right. All right. Yes. I'm very pale. Thank you. There. You've hurt me deeply and you know I mean it. Are you happy? Huh? Babe? Are you happy? Are you happy now? Yes. Uh. <laughs> I hate you. Get me a drink. Uh. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Very nice to meet you, Mr. Threewood. I am Palido. Palido Domingo. I am so glad you're here. Finally. <laughs> someone on this island with some manners. My drink needs refreshing. Take it away and bring me another. <sighs> oh, wait. Has he mistaken him for a waitress? Nah, no, he is wearing those sunglasses as well, but I think he just... <laughs> I think he's just being a bit flamboyant with calling him babe. Like uh, calling a... <clears throat> yeah, just calling a group of people uh, dudes or something, even if there are uh, women in it. It's just more of a... Uh, yeah, a looser reference to people instead of a direct meaning towards gender or such. I'm looking for Blood Island. Do you know where it is? Nope. Never heard of it. That's funny. Slappy Cromwell. Told me you booked all his shows there. Cromwell? I should have known. If I booked that guy in a dinghy, there'd be empty seats. <laughs> so you do know how to get to Blood Island. Yeah, yeah. They had a really nice room there, too. The Good Soup Plantation Resort Hotel and Casino. It was hmm. the place to go before they moved the shipping lanes. I used to book so many gigs there, I had the map tattooed on my back. On your back? All those little yellow sticky notes just kept getting lost. Oh. <laughs> Why did you lie and say you didn't know how to get to Blood Island? I I, I just don't want to say. What? It's your face, babe. There, I said it, babe. I hope you can forgive me. I just gotta be honest. I just didn't think you were the right type for Blood Island. That's not some place I picture your career going right now. Let me get you a booking somewhere that's in your league. I can gig you at this little shoe factory in Hoboken. It's Blood Island or nothing. That's the way it's gotta be, babe. Then that's the way it's gotta be. But you're gonna have to find new representation, okay? Can I see your map to Blood Island? You can see it when I roll over to tan my back. When will that be? 
Could be a long time, babe. A very, very long time. Somewhere between here and the, the heat death of the, union of, of the universe. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Uh, can a person struggle to get a tan like that? Uh, some people tan a lot easier than others, and others, yeah, just hardly color at all. <laughs> yeah, though, mm. at this night, state, you would expect them to have uh, burns at least. Yeah, but <laughs> that's the joke that he just cannot get a tan at all. <laughs> I don't think you understand. I'm a mighty pirate. I'm sorry, babe. I really sincerely am. Perhaps I didn't use the magic word. Take this drink away and bring me another. Now! <laughs> uh, okay, well, we know how to get him a drink because we got the mug without a bottom or with a bottom this time. Uh, okay, and... okay, here's the thing here. I'm used to baby for women or for anyone they are flirting with. I heard, heard men be called babe only in flirtatious uh, manner. Okay, we can skip straight to that point now. Uh, we are almost out of time, but we still have enough time to punk the punk kit here. No, wait, no, no. We did start 10 minutes late. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. I really should just check more with the uh, the timers that I set. And yes, I did, I did remember to set it this time. Yeah, we have about 13 minutes left. Uh, also, it seems the... There we... No, okay, no, not 13. And the chat got oh, hidden oh. for a moment there. Uh, oh, let's, um, let's see. What have we missed of the chat? Uh, Google says it's called a Morian. Okay, used from the beginning 16th to early 17th centuries. Uh, no tan but lethal sun poisoning. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's awaiting here, that guy. So we could technically just wait for him to cook <laughs> over and then roll him over. Did he say the hell is called a Morian? Yep, apparently. Um, let's see. Nice to have a proper name for it for once. Yeah, Actually, bye, you little brigand. Bye, mister. I think we might need to swap the mug around first. Uh, I think I think he looks away at sight certain times. Because if we try this. Oh. A three-headed monkey! <laughs> oh boy, oh boy! Gee willikers, is this gonna be swell? <laughs> or just do that. <laughs> hey! Just because you're a grown-up doesn't mean you can waste my time. <laughs> okay. In, and, do you have anything to say in your defense for that, Hillian? Uh, nope. <laughs> Give me some more lemonade, you little chiseler. That'll be a nickel. Yeah, technically speaking, both sides are screwing each other over here. Because <laughs> wooden nickels aren't worth a thing. That was as refreshing as morning dew. Hey! How did you drink all the lemonade? You switched mugs on me, you cheat. I hope you're happy. You put a budding young entrepreneur out of business. Oh. Oh, come on, don't look so <laughs> Guy brush. Okay. Uh, thank goodness it's not a porcelain pitcher. What do you have with porcelain? Oh, well. We can get out and give this jackass his drink. The pitcher's empty. Wait, what? Hmm. Okay. Wait, wait that. He really had only enough for one drink in it. Uh. <laughs> Unless you get a drink from somewhere else, like, you know, another grumpy person by the beach. Yep. That actually has a tan? Don't tell me. I... Uh, what? Okay, why did he move there? Bottomless mug. Wait, we actually took his mug? Okay, um. Do we fill it with ice? Molten yeah, one? That would be pointless. Okay. Yeah, I don't think he'd like that. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Atreus, that kid will be the villain of the next game. <laughs> I, 
are you joking or are you telling us the truth? Uh, joking because LeChuck is the villain every time. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, convince him he's burned. Okay. What will convince Palido? The red dye from the dye vats. Oh, okay. Oh, so we're not getting him a drink. We're just getting him a, a tan, sort of. Uh oh. Oh, there's the bells again. Hmm. It's full of dye now. Okay. And then we go back here. And have fun with this. Here's your drink. Well, get me a mug, babe. Oh, come on. Um, do we need to swap these again? So they don't have to draw a background behind this bloody mug. <laughs> Hmm. That doesn't need a fake mug. Okay. Unless well, you give him the fake mug, then pour him at the drink. Good point, yeah. Let's try that before I have to use the uh, <clears throat> thing again. Okay. What do you do without me? Uh, not much. Like <laughs> I've brought you a new mug. Thanks. Okay, and then we serve him. <laughs> Here's your drink, sir. <laughs> uh, um. Look, Palido, you're burning. Ah, all those months in the sun and my tan is just gonna peel away. I better turn over. Good idea. And there we go. The question is, how are we going to get this map? Did you just... turn on top of the mug? Yep. <laughs> and not realize I'll his belly is wet? It's far too complex. Yeah, we're going to have to rip that off, don't we? Or... Hmm... I don't think that would help. Let's we see. need someone? I don't think so. Uh, the, how do we obtain it? You must take it out. Cutting it would be too messy. And because some beels burns peel, use the cooking oil from the cabana. Okay. With the, what? With the map. Then lift it off. Um, okay. <laughs> How do we get rid of the cabin boy? Uh, if we go. I'd rather go around the long way than go across that hot sand. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> oh, it automatically moves over. That's nice. Uh, geez, I think the chat display is. Oh, I I've actually haven't been keeping an eye on that. Uh, I, I thought I'd set it to have the the, the messages remain. But, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that was technically a, well, not really a spray tan, but more a poor tan. <laughs> In both sense of the word. Uh, they are. Let's see. Use a wet towel. Okay. Nice fluffy towel. Okay. <laughs> and apparently we're coming up on a nice highlight towel, of so this game. Oh. Papa Pichu. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we'd have to pester him more. Uh, what? Let's see. That's it? 
Yeah, I thought he was going to be much more of a pain in the ass, but uh, if, yeah, I'll have to I'll have to take a look at how to fix chat if something's going on. And yeah, we did we did just whip him. <laughs> and yeah, chat. There's not even anything of the chat showing on the uh, stream apparently. Hmm. Okay, I'll definitely have to f try and actually. Um, no, it's it's over the overlay. Hmm. So yeah, it's just play not working apparently. That's odd. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely have to try and fix that uh, for tomorrow. For now, though. I'd rather go around to the gate than go through that towel business. Yep. Again. So we need to oil his back. It, um, this is going to hurt. And as someone who has experienced sunburn, uh, I, I really wish I didn't have to do that. Yep. <laughs> Actually, he doesn't seem to have noticed at all. He's all pretty short of healed now. I don't think that should be working. Yeah, it shouldn't, but yeah, it's an adventure game. How else are we going to get that? S slicing it off? Oh, and we immediately take off. Well, I've got a crew, a map, a ship, and finally got Elaine back. So let's say we head on to Blood Island to lift the curse and save Elaine. How about it, guys? Let's get moving towards Blood Island. Let's head on out and find our fortune, guys. This might be more difficult than I first imagined. <laughs> Three sheets to the wind. <laughs> and it's the uh, Captain Bald up top there. Ah, the sea. I, the sea. Makes you glad to be alive. I think that ship is following us. Feel that salty spray. The sunlight sparkling off the bay. What a glorious seafaring day. It's a pirate ship. We've got to outrun her. All right, men, are you with me? Hey, look, guys, a whale. <laughs> Where? Where? That ship is gaining on us. Cutthroat Bill, rig the topsail. Is that a right whale? No, no, lad. They're boarding us. Crew, <laughs> get out of here. It is a member of the Cetus Suborder, Mr. Shetty, though. I think uh, you're right. Age of Empires. Oh, hello. So it's you! What do you want, other than a good toupee? I've come for your map to the fabled blood alarm. Then I'll find the diamond you mentioned. Ah, uh, yeah. Away from my Ooh, look! That's good one. It's breaching! Ooh. <laughs> ah! Look, Baldy, I'll never give you that map. I need it to save Elaine. Then I'll have to take it from you by force. That whale must be 30.5 meters. 100 feet and weigh 200 metric tons. <laughs> you know of girls. In a sword fight, a sharp weed is much more important than a sharp blade. Of course. Everybody knows that, Chrome Dome. Let's get this over with. Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. Oh, yeah? Well, uh, you fight like a cow. No, 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 no. That's not right at all. What? On the sea, we fight it a little differently. On the sea, all your insults and threats have to rhyme. What? <laughs> so when I say every <laughs> enemy I've met, I've annihilated, you say... I once found some gold, but it was just electroplated? No. You say, with your breath, I'm sure they are suffocated. Let's try that again, shall we? You're as impulsive uh. as a monkey in a negligee. Uh... I'm waiting. I... Uh, I... <laughs> Just as I thought. You're an amateur with this world. Give me that map. Here, take it. Yeah. That's your map? Yeah. As soon as I'm through pirating these waters, it's off to blood alone. Until we meet again, Monsieur Tweebud. <laughs> uh. I've got to get that map back or we'll never find Blood Island. Thanks, guys. 
you were a world of help back there. It was a rousing battle, Captain. I and it reminds uh -oh. me of song. <laughs> <laughs> when a band of vicious pirates are sailing out to sea When you hear a gentle singing You'll be sure to turn and flee Oh, this is just ridiculous <laughs> Come on, men We've got to recover that map That pirate will be done for when he falls into our trap We're a club of tune for rovers We can sing in every clap We can even hit the high notes It's just too bad we're tuned down A pirate I was meant to be Trim the sails and roam the sea. <laughs> Let's go defeat that evil pirate. Yeah. We know he's sure to lose because we know just where to fire it. We're thieving balladeers. A gang of cutthroat mugs. To fight us off, you won't need guns. Just jolly good ear blood. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. <laughs> Guy Brush. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Roam the sea. <laughs> All right, crew. Let's get to work. Our vocation's a thing we love, a thing we never shirk. We'll fight you in the harbor. We'll battle you on land. Oh, when you meet singing pirates, there'll be more than you can stand. Oh, that was a good one. No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> no time for song. We got to move. The battle will be long, but our courage we will prove. We're a pack of scurvy sea dogs. Have we pity not a dram? We only roasted garlic. Dancing from the diaphragm. A pirate I was <laughs> meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. Less singing, more sailing. <laughs> when we defeat our wicked foe, his ship he will be bailing. You will get a nasty whack and you can disrespect our singing. We will bring you to a crack and a pirate. I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. The rhyming. Yep. I'm getting so sick of you guys and your rhyming. We're ready to set sail, though the cannons need a priming. I never noticed it was <laughs> Scrooge McDuck's voice actor in this. We come to steal your treasure. We would shoot you on the downbeat. But we gotta rest my measures. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. Uh, I, yes, I know. The last, the last one. Is that the one? Whackers. From what I've seen, I tell you, you're not pirates, you're just slackers. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. We'll surely avoid scurvy if we all eat an orange. And, um... Well, uh... Door hinge? No, no. Guess the song's over then. Guess so. Okay. Back to work. Well, gee, I feel a little guilty now. <laughs> Captain. <laughs> yes, Mr. McMahon. We were wondering, we were, just what kind of captain you are. What do you mean, Haggis? Well, some captains are men of action. They like to have complete responsibility and control for their ship. Other captains prefer to concentrate more on the thinking aspects of captaining. The captain who's a man of action will undoubtedly have a much more difficult time of defeating other scoundrels of the sea in the fast-paced realm of ship-to-ship -ship combat. The more academic captain will find the other pirate vessels he meets to be less aggressive and therefore far easier and quicker to defeat in combat. I see. So, Captain Threepwood, which type of captain be ye? Basically, this is yeah. This is going to be a difficulty selection for ship combat. 
I think I'd rather let you guys help me out. Easy ship combat it is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was half expecting we'd have to save that for next time. <laughs> but yeah, that <now> this... <laughs> uh, <get> rack them. <laughs> It's not a fit, uh, one uh, swing around is a relative of yours. <laughs> but yeah, Atreus, uh, Age of Empires all of a sudden with the 3D graphics there. <laughs> but yeah, uh, whilst he is screwing around, <laughs> uh, we'll have to call it here though. Uh, yeah, I'll try to get the chat fixed for tomorrow. Uh, really don't know why that's not working. It's worked before. I, I, the only thing I really changed is that it should have kept messages on screen until they scrolled out of it, no, until they scrolled out of sight. But apparently that's not what happened for some reason. For some reason it completely killed itself. So yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> uh... I'll try to have that fixed by tomorrow. I'll even run some tests. Oh, hello. okay. Yeah, it shows the text sliding in and then they disappear. I saw that. I saw that. Hmm. Maybe I maybe I changed the wrong setting in that it's... <laughs> in that it's... Uh, it's cheap. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll look into that. I, I I probably changed the wrong thing. I, I did notice the text just sliding in and vanishing. Uh, yeah, I definitely changed the wrong thing. But for now, uh, whilst uh, Scrooge McHaggis is checking over the map and Rackham is just screwing around and I don't even, don't even want to know what Cutford Bill is up to, uh, we'll have to call it here. <laughs> uh, yeah. Tomorrow we'll have Showcase Sunday uh, with some more Warhammer games. Again, half of the ones that we'll be showing off. And two others. Um, and yeah... Next week, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we'll be continuing with Darksiders. And, yeah, on Saturday again, we will be returning to this gem of a game. <laughs> so, before Rackham loses his grip, I'd say we uh, call it here. <laughs> Probably good idea. Yeah. Um, yeah, thank you all for... <laughs> thank you anyone has been here... <laughs> I'm going to do this. To shut him up. Uh, thank you, anyone who has been watching now or later. And let's see. Thank you, Atreus, for chatting along. Even if we only caught the end of this, uh, you can always check the VOD if you want to see what other shenanigans we've been up to. And thank you as well, Lolo, uh, Lolo Malon, if that is how you're supposed to say that. And were there anyone else chatting along? Uh, yeah, yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Uh, sorry about the bot slapping you around for a bit. I'll I'll look at disabling that bit. Uh, just don't overdo it with the all caps. And as always, of course, special thanks to you, Tadir. You're most welcome as always, my friend. <laughs> and yeah, as I said, showcase uh, Sunday tomorrow early. And uh, yeah, until then, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, folks, and watch out for crazy pirates. <laughs> In this world, there's only crazy pirates. <laughs> uh, goodbye, all. Be safe.